Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good day. John Lopez UK here today, and today I'm just gonna showcase a buddy of mine's build, and let's get right into it. This is 08 Explorers 2013, I believe, FPIS, and it is a twin to my white FPIS. We both have dual spotlights, but he has a plethora of more equipment. Let's get right into it. So starting up front, we'll move our way from the front to the back, and then obviously, the goodies on top, the icing on top of the cake. So in front is the Satina PB400 or 300, I believe, with the full headlight wraps. On the push bar in front, we have Fed Sig ES100Cs, dual siren speakers mounted up front, and Wayland ions in the grill. These ions are, uh, I believe they're, uh, I believe they're ion duos. Moving on, I believe these are the, I don't know what brand, but Unity Spotlights, both LED. On the mirror beams, we have Wayland Ion Duos as well. And let's move on to the rear of the vehicle. So, full positioner cage inside of it. Let's start from the back. Full Satina cage with the window bars. Very nice. No way for the prisoners to access the back. Flat petition cage, unlike certain other models. And this one does have the option to unbuckle them and buckle them straight in, safer for law enforcement to use. In addition to that, we have mounted on the rear windows, these are Wayland T-Ions, duo color. On the roof of the vehicle, we have low jack setup. These four antennas will ping to a low jack system in the vehicle mounted right there, which will detect any stolen vehicle that has a low jack tracker in it. Very fancy. Moving on to the rear of the vehicle, you may not be able to see it, but this has the ready for road package, wheel and ions mounted in the rear tailgate. Similar to mine right there. In addition to that, this was a Metropolitan Police car, so it has the full Metropolitan antenna package with all of the proper antennas. All-wheel drive, of course, and here is the rear end of the vehicle. In addition to that, he has two Whalen Ion T-Ions in the rear and some Chevrons on the rear bumper. I did actually miss a light right here on the front wing. These are Whalen Ion Duos as well. I'll be having some on my own build. Fed Sig Micropulse is mine, but similar concept. Moving on to the interior. So this interior setup is fully complete. It has the low jack right over there. We have the L3 camera system right there for the dash cam right over here. In addition to that, we have a full Panasonic tablet mount with a keyboard stand, everything moves. And here we have a Motorola radio with a FedSig Pathfinder. In addition to that, two extra SIG ports. And I'm not sure what that button does, but I'm sure I can ask. We have a printer in this vehicle as well. We also have Motorola mic and some other equipment. In addition to that, we do have a gun rack mounted right there. And if the officer wanted to speak to the prisoners, I believe, I don't know if it moves or not, but it is an open, ah, I see. Not sure how it slides, but I'm sure this slides over somehow. Along with that, he has a lockbox right there in the back. Motorola mic and a FedSig mic. This one talks into the radio and that one talks into the PA system for the vehicle. Besides that, it's a very similar FPIS build to mine. Not similar at all, actually. But besides that, it's mostly the same interior with the same radio controls, same column shifter, and all sorts of other goodies. It also has that right there, once the camera loads in. That is a on online sync, which is a daytime sensor of the vehicle. When it's in night mode, the lights are uh, much easier on the eyes versus in the daytime, 
it is a very harsh pattern to help move traffic out of your way. Let's move on to the roof. On the roof of this vehicle, we have the FedSig Valor. This light bar is very fancy. It is trio color, I believe, or duo. Full amber traffic advisor in the back. I believe this is a red blue split with full 360 white lighting in front. And that's about it. This car, and that's Dylan, the owner of the vehicle. In addition to that, this car also won Panther Fest's best interceptor. So even though it wasn't even a Panther, but still very interesting. And if you're interested in checking out the builds that he does, he is a professional outfitter. His Instagram will be in the, his Instagram will be in the link in the description below. You can go ahead and check him out. Maybe anyway, that's the end of the video. I'll catch you guys soon. Sure, I'll show the trunk tray. All right, so trunk tray wise, very organized. Like I said, professional outfitter, so everything's done right. The Motorola brain. This is the system for the L3 camera system, and then the brain for the bed sig. Everything bed sig for the Pathfinder. In addition to that, here's a Wi Fi router for the actual tablet inside. That's really that. Fire extinguisher as well. Very, very nice setup.